good humble squad it's your boy humble ziggy we back here with another reaction for y'all and a hey, we got hell of a boss the new episode season 2 episode 9 apology tour so if you haven't go check out my last reaction which was season 2 episode 8 and such and a hey, all I can say is where we left off let's just say Blitzo and Stolas in a way you can say ah, ah, no more but beggars can't be choosers so upon so apparently now on apology tour I mean cuz I see that what a do posted his reaction and I didn't watch it but I did see in like in the thumbnail where he had where if Blitzo is beginning to change and hey hold up now things might get a little interested so we better check it out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get into this I haven't been answering my text and I sent you a bunch of funny shit, so what gives? I was hoping my lack of ha-has in response to the photos you sent would be an indicator I didn't want to talk right now. Oh, come on, Stolas. We just had a rough night. Besides, you always want to hear from me. <sighs> Blitz, what is it you want? I want to feel like I'm earning my way to Earth. Okay, so get your tight feathered ass out of that lawn chair and into the bedroom so I can fuck it. Wow. Poetry. <laughs> I'm sure such a statement would have had me swooning by now. Uh, I, sh yeah, sure. That, okay, that was a shitty way for me to say it, but you usually like it when I talk all dirty and fucky and shit. <gasps> Come on, we don't do words. We do sex. As shocking as this might seem, Blitz, I don't think I'm in the mood to do <laughs> sex with you. In fact... I don't think I'm even in the mood to do words with you. So how about you respect that? Oh, come on, Stolas. You can't mean that. You hey. Because let's think about it. For you. In these episodes, we always know that Stolas is always going to jump to the actions of one to uh, uh, on it. So the fact that he's standing ten toes on, he's standing on business when he said, we ain't doing that no more. And he ain't in the mood for that shit no more. Hey, stole his stand on business. He not folding. It's with you. So how about you respect that? Oh, come on, Stolas. You can't mean that. You always love seeing this. Seeing you right now is hard. I don't want to feel worse than I already do. It's bad enough. I got an invite to this anti-Blitzo party. An honorary invite for being your freshest ex. Anti-Blitzo party? Who the fuck's behind this? Oh, it's entirely immature. I'd never indulge this nonsense. It's silly. Real silly. Real fucking classy. Kind of them to invite me, <coughs> though. It might be rude not to make an appearance. Brossica! Of course. Yep. <laughs> Who else? Hmm? Who else and shit? It's that fucking bitch. I will say, it's rather concerning you have an entire party devoted to hating you, though, Blitz. Oh, please, everyone hates me for shitty reasons. In the end, everyone's just bitter they couldn't tie this ass down. I'm too much imp to simp. You really think that's the reason? Yes, sir, they couldn't handle that I moved no, on. Nigga. Oh, so you're used to being the one who crushes others' feelings, hmm? If by crushes others' feelings you mean in shit before it gets serious, then bingo, I'm doing everyone a favor because relationships are boring. Oh yes, very boring. So what are you doing here then? I'm waiting for you to realize how good an angry fuck would be right now. Get out. Right now. What? I'm tired of this. I'm uncomfortable with how you're speaking to me now. Oh, come on, Stolas. You can't tell me this isn't a fantasy of yours. You want me to show your rich, princey ass what a real fucking is. Stop it. Ha! I'm right, aren't I? You get off to getting plowed by people you look down on. I don't look down on you. How many times do I... I when have I ever... You speak just like that vile striker friend of yours, the one who tried to kill me and you couldn't be bothered to come help me. Remember him? Hey, look, I do not sound like that. I mean, really think about it. Strike, if you remember how striker was, he was the guy who who was trying to gun down, uh, who, freaking, 
Moxie's family and such. Well, not mostly his family, but willing to gun down him. So yeah. And in a way, he was seducing him and whatnot and whatnot. But hey, he does sound like him a little bit. One who tried to kill me and you couldn't be bothered to come help me. Remember him? Hey, look, I do not sound like that. And I didn't know he was capable. I, I stopped him the first time, didn't I? The first time? Yeah, the... Oh. Oops. I... Uh, no, who said that? I... You knew someone was trying to assassinate me? No, I, I stopped him. And I really didn't think you could actually get hurt. You're immortal and shit. You're a fucking prince. If me and my team could kick that guy's ass that easily, then I'm sure you'd have no problem. I suppose you are right. Silly me, it's not an imp's place to protect a Goetia, is it? And there it is. Took you long enough. That's all you were waiting for, wasn't it? For me to play into this idea you have of me that I'm this prince who thinks he's so much better than you. Well, I don't. Why would I allow everyone to see how much I like you? How I've tried so fucking hard to spend time with you, to support you? You don't owe me those things, but you can't just ignore all that. You know, Stolas. I spent the entirety of this morning listening to love ballads. And that was still the gayest thing I've heard all day! Do you feel any kind of remorse for what you do? Have you ever even apologized once in your life? Oh, you think I can't apologize? For what? You want me to be like, oh, sorry this entire time. I assumed the worst because I was convinced a prince could never love someone like me and I let my self-hatred stop me from apologizing to anyone I could never care about. But there he goes. Yep. Hey, I've been saying that ever since the host, ever since season two started, I've been saying, even if I haven't reacted to almost all of the things, but I've been watching it. I have been saying that ever you seen the ever the character development, cause in season one, Blitzo was just being a normal, raging, effing, crazy nigga, right? <laughs> But ever since season two started and such, you get to see more, you see more layers to him and such. So, hey, this little stint right here, I know he's going to say, oh, I'm kidding and all, but nah. That means his real emotions. I'm sorry this entire time. I assumed the worst because I was convinced a prince could never love someone like me. And I let my self-hatred stop me from apologizing to anyone I could never care about. Well, yes, that. Well, fuck you! I can sorry the fuck out of people, just you watch! I sorry Fizz so hard he cried! And I can sorry more people, everyone but you! Cause I don't owe you dick! Everyone but you. apologize to the people I fucked with. I mean, how many could there possibly be? Dude. Yes? Oh, it's you. The <laughs> first person. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> Ain't that crazy how this is all a turnaround and such? I guarantee you, I, I know he's gonna go there. He has to. He has to be going to that party. But ain't it crazy that the first person he goes to is the girl who was trying to burn him in the first place, which is crazy enough. Yes? Oh, it's you. Hey, Martha. Look, I know we killed you in the past, but I just wanted to say no hard feelings and offer this. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? This girl, is, nah. Wasn't she? Wasn't she the same person who wanted to gun her as? If that ain't such a twist right there, <laughs> she was the same person who wanted her ass to get fucked and such. And now she, mm -mm. nah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's fucking right. Mm. Them two.
sorry, but not sorry, it's crazy. All right, and now on to the exes, who are all in one place. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> Hey, buddy, you know where 666 South Maple Avenue might be? Down that way, demon dude! Sick costume, bruh! Hey, happy Halloween! Oh, looks like you missed some makeup there! Thanks! It's my face. <laughs> That's cr- Hey, I ain't gonna lie, the fact that you would have an anti-ex party and such, in order to everyone who's been your ex is crazy all I know is <laughs> the last time I see something like this was with Brian from Family Guy where a whole bunch of women who he's been with hell even a freaking dog <laughs> well he's a dog too hey it's giving that same Brian energy thanks <laughs> amongst the living and it's spent celebrating mutual pettiness. Oh, uh, what? Oh, nothing. I was talking to myself. Cool, man. I wish I was you. <laughs> That's crazy. Brassica, her drunk ass. Hello, freshest ex! Stolas! How are you doing, baby? You holding up okay? No, oh, I'm fine. I felt it rude not to stop by. I don't get invited out much, but I really shouldn't stay long. Well, I'm glad you can make it, honey. Well, this certainly beats the last Earth party I attended on Hallow's Eve. Oh, hell, the demon prince, Dolas. Oh, I was told there would be cake. Well, that damn, these niggas just did us. And how did you, t you know what? I digress. Speaking of cake, you want to slice it? Oh! Ooh, ooh. I like to start at the neck or the dick. Well, shit. Well, that damn. That's crazy. Look, that's why if anyhow me and a girl don't, all I'm gonna say is, right? This is what happens when you don't be respectful to your all I can say is if anyhow you and your certain and you and your ex partner or ex girlfriend or boyfriend don't work out please make sure you end it off on a good note because if you don't sometimes if if all your ex is who you if all your ex is of who you was with right they come along and put up an anti ex party and they use you as a cake and look, look all I can say is hey you must have done something real 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 bad to let them do this shit I like to start at the neck or the dick mm. you're right nobody wants his dick anyway <laughs> I think I'm content without slicing any of it. Well, live it up, baby. You are with friends here. Fuck Blitzo in the fucking ass! <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn! Wow. Have I fucked this many people? Yes. Christ on a stick. I should start keeping count. Nigga. The fact that all I can say is the fact that there was an ex, the fact that there's a party that involves hating on you, that's crazy. That's how shit. This feels like it's the Kendrick Lamar concert and shit. The only difference is people are uniting as a certain shit and such. They're you, these people are you, these demons are uniting on hating your ass. That's crazy. Have I fucked this many people? Christ on a stick. I should start keeping count. 
Sorry for the comment I made at your sister's wedding, though she did deserve it. She's a whore. Sorry for fucking your mom, though I thought it was your dad. Hi! He did it. Way to go, Dennis. You fucking suck. The hell? Yeah, you suck, Dennis. Well, damn. What did he do? Sugar's cold, it say what you really mean. Come on, baby, speak from your heart. We all here know how you feel. Do you know? Um, oh, uh, um. <sighs> I let you get too close. I let it go too far. Now I know, now I know. Oh, hell nah, not no synchronized. There we go. That was the word I was thinking of last. That was the word I was trying to think of last night. Synchronized. There we go. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. There was a certain thing where I was trying to remember a certain word where somebody's saying the same thing together. Synchronized. That was the word I was looking for. But hold on, not the synchronized scene. Nah, 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 nah. What did he do? I'm guessing she's he's just only there to protect her for God and such. But did he ever effed him up? When was that? Well, he's what he is. The mother f ain't no way in God's green earth am I making another person singing how they hate me in a melatonin voice for the motherfucker. What the hell? Nah, you got me messed up. This is a solid ass rock ballad. I ain't gonna let you. when you fuck hey this is what i'm saying 
Do not let your exes just come up here and start singing about how you fucked them over. This was all on you, my nigga. So the fact that you got some of your, well, two of your ex, two of your well-known hated exes, well, two of your well-known, well-known exes on stage. I don't know about Tex. I don't know. I guess it was with the Luna thing, but I don't think he personally did anything wrong to him. But regardless. Do not let two of the most well-known exes of yours get up on stage and sing about how you fucked them over. How you did them wrong. That's crazy. That's what I was saying earlier. If anyhow you're gonna end it off with your p partner and such, make sure to do it. Make sure you leave it respectfully. Because if anyhow they start, if anyhow one particular ex is, get, is making a party to honor in how they hated your ass do not let them do this shit cause you know them was gonna hit you in the feelings of how many people you m***ed over You know you fucked up. Hey! <coughs> Let's! What are you doing here? You're lucky everyone is drunk or you would be murdered right now. Ah, no, it's good. I'm in disguise. Nah, nigga. That's not much of a disguise, nigga. Trust me. It's really not. All you just put was a... I've never seen you throw it back like this. Came just to judge me, is that it? No, I just... This was the final stop on the apology tour I've been on today. <sighs> oh yes, I recall. <laughs> Everyone but me is getting your cheap apologies tonight. Hmm? Well, you certainly have your work cut out for you. Look, how I acted this morning, it was fun, okay? This morning? You mean every... Oh, why did you show up there? Why did you show up here? You already asked that, but look, I, I just really need to to talk to you, to, to explain. Oh? I've always been real shit at sorries, okay? They're for pussies and no one fucking deserves them anyway, but I felt like maybe you actually needed one. Oh, lucky me. Oh shit, okay, what I mean is, I said sorry a lot today and honestly, didn't really mean any of it because the only one I wanted to say it to was you, Stones. I just... This whole thing we had going, I, I mean, you're a fucking prince. How could you ever actually care for an imp? You be, hey, you be surprised. That's what I've been saying. It, to me, that's what I always say. I don't care how rich you are or how successful you are. If there ain't no actual connection, like an actual love connection between two people, no matter what it is, same sex, different sex, whatever, right? Point is... If there's not an actual connection, like a love connection, romantic connection to, between the two, I could give two shits of how you rich in all this and that and the third. Because I'm not envious of it at all. What I'm looking for is a relationship with a certain girl. No matter who, no matter what they are, no matter what race they are, no matter what status they have in life, if they're rich, if they're middle class, if they're poor, I don't care. If there's not actual love connection right there between me and her, then it ain't gonna work out. Simple as that. I mean, you're a fucking prince. How could you ever actually care for an imp? Me. How could anybody? Blitz, there is a crowd full of people here who cared so much, they throw an entire fucking party about hating you every year. Think about that. That shows you how much people cared about your ass. The f like I've been saying, they threw an entire, 
you have a crowd full of your exes there that is partying because they hated your ass. Hmm? They cared so much about you, but since you was with your machismo and whatnot, they threw this party just to honor of hating your ass. That's when you know you is a shitty ass person. Run that now, run that back to here. Crowd full of people. To hear this again. Let's. There is a crowd full of people here who yeah. cared so much. They throw an entire fucking party about hating you every year. Every year, too. Do you know how much you have to care to do something as stupid as that? Stolas, you are better off without. Yeah, trust me. You would have to care really much if you have to do something like that. Do you know how much you have to care to do something as stupid as that? Stolas, you are better off without me, okay? You deserve so much. I don't even know why you would want to be with me. You want to know what I want? I want to know what it's like to not be alone. I want to be someone's someone. I want to feel wanted, but like in a romantic way, like I'm standing out in the rain at a train station and someone is shouting, Harriet, don't get on that train. It's going to London and I cannot be without you. Oh, Stolas, that's a rom-com. Oh, fuck you. The point is I just, I want someone to care if I stay or go. I want someone to want me, to want to see me, to hold me, look at me and think, well, you're the only one I want. I desire to hold you and talk to you, never let you feel so. Don't touch the pretty you, why are you here? I don't want you here. Go home, please. Let me not feel so sad. <laughs> Oh, hello. Great song earlier. You have great pipes. Thank you. Yeah, 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 he sings fantastic. We're talking here. Well, I just wanted to see if maybe, I don't know, you'd want to dance? You want to dance with me? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the fact that you, hey, this just shows you in a way how Blitz is really is changing, because my dude, the fact that you, the fact that even Stolas still is like motioning me if he wants me to go do this and such, that still means that he still cares for Blitz. Okay. So, an apology tour, huh? You got a lot of balls coming here, Blitzo. Yeah, I know. Everyone here hates me. Yep. That's the point. That's the point, dumbass. So what, you're waiting for your sorry? Oh, fuck you, you little prick. Well, I'm sorry for always telling it like it is, sister. Well, I'm just being honest. I'm sorry for dumping you. Sorry for not falling head over heels for you or that guy or fucking Dennis or or anyone at this stupid fucking party. Oh, you are so fucking shitty. Do you hear yourself? Everyone's shitty. Hello, we live in hell. Good point. Why am I all of a sudden the bad guy just for sucking at relationships? Are you expecting sympathy? Oh, poor Blitz. Finally having to own that his actions affect other people's fifis. Bitch, please. How do you think I felt when the fun guy I was dating decided to just bail on me because I made the shitty mistake of saying I love... It was the most embarrassing feeling to be vulnerable for once and you really just know how to send a message in the shittiest fucking way huh. the worst part is you still make me feel like a bad person for being angry at you now but 
hosting this party for everyone else you've dicked over. At least I can help others cope with the shit you did. What? No snarky comeback? No. You're right. I actually am, you know, sorry. I, I don't want to be this way. You've seen a change. Not forever. <laughs> Looks like Stolas is having a good time. Yeah, well, he needs it. <laughs> Time. Oh, that bird stealing cock back! Hold it, Blitz. You know, if you want to change, it just starts with saying, Good for him. Hope he gets laid. <laughs> That's crazy, of us. That's crazy, but hey. You. It's basically like this. Blitz, you cannot be mad at Stoneless for trying to get himself being fun again. Because, nigga, the same thing. The same thing. Everybody around that shit could say the same thing too. Hope she or he gets laid and all that. Cause at the end of the day, nigga, like like he just said, an entire crowd is here on the thing on how they're coping of they hate me always so much, and they do this every single year. That's crazy. It just starts with saying, "Good for him. Hope he gets laid." <laughs> Here, have some cake, fuckwad. Ever since you went away, That's a cake. I've been haunted, haunted. I always get whatever I want, and I wanted, I wanted you. So now I'm drawing circles in the sand, trying to. Damn, even the ringleader there. Sometimes it still hurts a bit. Sometimes I'm so full of shit. But this much is true. Hey man, Blitz. All I can say is you had better had change in the in the next episode. I hope to see that Blitz actually tries to change over and such, tries to begin a new leaf. You can say, but hey, this was honestly. I will still look with all due respect. Maybe it's maybe because I'm not watching Has Been Hotel right now, but all I can say is this. This is just me, and look, and you can say I'm biased and whatnot, but I feel like with Has Been Hotel, I don't think would ever still give me that type of feeling or so of how hell of a boss is. And the fact is, right, that I see Maguire drop the Blitzo song, and I see or Orcadia, 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 sorry. He's about to drop one and such, or thinking of dropping one. Hey, I've been saying that I wanted to see, I wanted to see some hell of a boss songs coming in, and hey, we might get, I might get that. But either way, y'all, let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. If you made it to the end, comment down below. Blitzo, comment down below hashtag Blitzo change, and that makes me know you made it to the end. But. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.